Hi everyone! So in this video what we're going to do is actually take a normal kind of floor plan drawing in AutoCAD and basically just make it pretty. Because uh, obviously sometimes when you are preparing drawings in AutoCAD there's going to be some drawings that are definitely more for contractors eyes um, and so it is more about drawing the the information and getting to the point but sometimes you also want to draw for more clients and clients might be looking for something a little bit more stylized and a little bit more kind of um, illustrative and presentation quality so without doing a full-blown rendered plan which you can find a video for that um, up at this little card in the corner uh, the this is going to be kind of a quick fix to, to take a, a normal kind of line drawing and add a little bit more interest and intrigue to it. So we have this really simple floor plan and basically what we can see is there's a... Um, you know, the line weights have already been applied because um, I've used my template for that. And I've already added in a, um, a title block as well as like my north arrow and my drawing title. Uh, so there is quite a lot going on and I don't think the, the drawing looks bad. Um, but I just want to get a, give it a little bit more um, kind of presentation polish uh, for more of a client presentation. So I'm going to go back to model space. And first things first, I'm going to actually go into the zero layer because I'm going to do some guidelines um, to get started. But before I do that, I do want to kind of play around with these existing hatches. So if I click on these, I'm going to do a little bit of editing. So right now the background of this is completely... Um, uh, transparent but I'm gonna actually make it where there's a light gray background so if I go to more colors and um, because I use the monochrome uh, plot style I'm gonna make sure it's a true color and we're gonna choose a very light gray to be our background and now the foreground more colors true color and we're just gonna make sure it's set to that true color white and so now, if I go back to here, we can see there's just a little bit more um, kind of tone happening here because we've made it where it's a gray hatch with a, uh, uh, the white lines coming forward to it. So I'm gonna do something similar here, but we're gonna make that gray even lighter because this is representing some carpet. So here, and I know I wanna make it lighter than that, so I'm gonna go more colors again. And yeah, something like that's fine. And in this case, I think I actually want to make the the dots the darker color. So if I go back here just to see what this looks like, yeah, you can start to see, you know, when you it's very subtle, but it's a slight color difference there. So now what I'm going to do is actually start to indicate some idea of shadow. So if we look, this is actually um, south facing windows, so we can make some judgment calls in terms of the fact that direct sun will be coming in to these particular um, parts of the uh, apartment. So if I go back to the model, and this time I'm on that zero layer. And what I'm going to do is draw some polylines to give us an idea of where the overall shadow will take place. And we're going to start with just the bedroom. Now, before I do this, I'm going to turn off these hatches just because it'll be easier to, to see what we're doing. So, PL. So I'm just going to do one large polyline around the edge and now what I need to do is turn on my polar tracking and let's do the 510 and we're gonna draw this window at an angle. So I just copied this line here and over there. And 
if you are doing something really proper with sun paths and things like that, you would want to make sure you go in and um, measure these angles properly, but we're just doing this for illustrative purposes. So something like that. And we're going to trim up the edges. All right, so this is what we have to work with. So let me join. So now we have two polylines. So what I'm going to do is actually hatch. So hatch. And instead of picking an internal point, we're going to actually select, so S enter and select that that interior there now obviously this is a bit um, intense I'm going to do go into a solid we're going to make it much more transparent something like that just so we can see it for the time being we'll be adjusting this graphics in a, in a minute and right now this hatch is associative so I'm going to actually uncheck that and that means if I select this, actually I'm going to change this to just an angle hatch. So if I select that polyline that we had already done, I can do trim and we'll cut out that shape. So what we're left is just this one overall um, kind of hatch that has this sun kind of taken out of it. So basically at this point you could either put these light lines on a, a layer and turn them off I'm just going to delete them because I'm not going to need them anymore and what you want to now do is go into the layout version and turn on those hatches just to make sure it, it all looks um, perfectly fine and now we want to select this hatch and this time we're going to really make sure we go in and adjust that that shading so something like that yeah we can actually start to to see that impact there um, so I'm happy to leave that as the, as is and I'm gonna do the same thing for the window over on this side and then we're gonna play around with some um, different kind of hatches around edges of um, things in here because these these rooms for example won't have any sunlight and then this would have kind of shadows as well to deal with. So I'm going to play around with that now. Alright, so with that done, I'm going to add in a little bit of a darker hatch in some of the, um, the, well, the bathroom in this utility area, and then we'll then go in and look at some more specific areas to add in a little bit more of a shadow. And now I'm going to go in and add just a little bit of a, a shadow here, 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 and here, just because it will make a little bit more sense. And we need to add one here as well.
All right, so with that, we've added quite a few kind of shadows to, to give it a little bit more depth, even though it's just a line drawing. Now, there's a couple of other things that we could start to do to, to just make it feel a little bit more um, polished and a little bit more uh, just lively, really. So one of the things that I'm going to do is actually adjust the coloring and the fill of the walls. And we're going to just give it, again, a more stylized view. So if I go back to the model space, basically what I'm going to do is actually make it where the walls themselves, so plan, walls, exterior, are going to be set to a particular color. Now we're actually um, going to use a true color again because we want it to print in that color. And I would suggest choosing a color that feels relevant to poten potentially the, the design proposal and how you're presenting it. So in this case, I'm going to choose this kind of really deep blue and then OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for those interior walls. So we're going to go back to that deep blue and I don't remember the color code. So we're just going to copy and try this again. Copy and paste. So now these are all going to show up that kind of the um, you know, bl just that richer blue. And then I'm going to add in a hatch into the walls themselves so it will actually fill with kind of a lighter blue. So this case I'm going to go back to pick internal points and we're just going to fill in anything that's a wall. Enter. And it needs to be solid. And I'm going to go in and in this case I am going to actually play with the color here. So true color, let's add in this again. Um, so we can see kind of where it is. And then I'm going to actually adjust that transparency and I might say, in this case, I'm going to go much lighter as well. So select this again, more colors. Let's just make it a really light blue. And there we go. So this is already becoming a much more kind of stylized version that could easily start to fit in more with however I'm presenting it to the, the client. Um, you know, alternatively, you could also even play around with playing with a white lines on a black background and etc. But for right now, I'm actually fairly happy with this because we've added in a little bit more kind of lighting situation going on and we've added in um, some color to try to make the, the presentation feel a little bit more um, in line with what we're proposing. Now, the only thing that I would su suggest now is adding some labeling. So I'm going to just add in some text. Yeah, something like that. And basically what I'm going to do is use this as a kind of guide for now I'm going to go in and add this to all the relevant rooms. And you know what? I think I'm satisfied. So this is definitely a, a more stylized presentation and this is one that you know I could easily take this even as an um, image that could easily go into more of a presentation document, um, something like in PowerPoint or in InDesign to make it a little bit more again polished for presenting to a client rather than to contractors and the likes. So I hope that helped! If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching!